Oh, jeez. That's one less thing I have to worry about. I already had some premium event. Wait, let me just double check something. Oh, hello, folks. Welcome back, for I am the one, the only, I am Hobo Tom. And I'm here because it's that magic time again, the most glorious time of the year. So we hit my music. Yep, that probably went over a little bit. That's okay. Let's see here, slime on. I don't think it's slime anniversary. Now let me just double check one thing. Yeah, it's not until like July. I don't know what impact is. I'm so goofed up trying to figure out stuff. But don't worry, folks. I'm back, baby. I do apologize for that hot garbage of an impact show. I forgot how bad impact like I don't even know what event it is is it rebellion let me just check one final thing I forget what it is I know they have an impact event coming up impact rebellion maybe it is rebellion No, that's not until April 16th. I don't know what Impact was talking about. Who cares? It's not Slime Anniversary. It's not Rebellion. I don't know. Whatever. More importantly, I got it's the most glorious time of the year. It's... Oh, something beat. It's WrestleMania season. So I have not one, not two, but three pages of predictions. To go through. So let's see here. Um, let's start off with NXT Stand and Deliver. I am not going to be able to see that. Because I don't think that's. I don't know. I might be able to watch some of it. It all depends. No, I don't feel like waking up. Because I'm off sat I'm, I'm off Saturday morning. I just realized I only have one job on Saturday. That's good. I have two jobs tomorrow. So this video will go up sometime tomorrow-ish. I just have no clue when. So I have to get to the bank tomorrow. Because it's payday! Payday is a good day. Well, YouTube should monetize me and make my paydays better. Let's see. So let's go through the NXT Stand and Deliver card. Yep. Again, I say that with a caveat of I get this from probably the shadiest website on the gray internet and some dark websites out there where I've learned not to put in vital information because that's bad but yep um, let's start off I have no idea where it's gonna start let's just say it's, it's the tag team belts are on the line you have Gallus versus the Creed brothers versus the, the Familia and if you're not familiar with that that's um Two dimes, I think, and what's his face? Me Familia, um, Chase University, and oh wait, yeah, that's right. It says Gals versus the Creed Brothers versus versus the versus the family. Yep, yeah, that's why. I have Gals retaining the belts. The Creeds are good. The Familias, they're jobbers. Let's be realistic about that. So I have no idea. Probably, though, in the opening match, we have Chase University and Tyler Bate versus Schism. I don't know. It would seem more interesting if Schism wins, and therefore they could rebuild Chase University. It gives them some a little something more to do. So, yeah, I'll say Schism wins. But I'll tell you what, that's a multi-man match. You can just take a nap through that match.
Yeah, and I should make a note of that too. That pen's dead. Let me grab another pen and take a nap during that match. Um, probably a f an overly fun match. And this is going to be my match of the night. You have Wesley versus Dragon Lee versus JD McDonough versus Ilya Dragunov versus Axiom. I think an NXT is really good at this. Dragon Lee from New Japan was so good. I think they're going to take the belt off Wesley and put it on Dragon Lee. And that's going to be a fun feud. Dragon Lee versus any one of those guys. So yeah, Dragon Lee wins. He's going to be the new North American champion. And then... Wow, I'm just going straight to this. You know what? I'll have the women's qualifying match. To see who's going to either face or get said belt. It is Zoe Starks versus Gigi Dolan versus Tiffany Stratton versus Lyra Valkyrie versus Indy Hartwell. I think Zoe Starks going to win that belt. That'll be a fun feud with Roxy. Or Roxanne Perez. I know, I almost... Because she's not medically clear to get in the ring. So you can do that weird interim champion. And then eventually, whatever thing they do it's, uh, during SummerSlam, they, they could have a unification title for the woman's belt. Again, it can be that thing. I never lost the belt. So I'm going to face you. Um, in a dark match, in a... Hold harmless match, I guess. You have Johnny Gargano versus Grice and Walla. The Aussie. Johnny Gargano is Mr. NXT. He's done absolutely nothing on the main roster. They have to build him up somehow. This is a great way, especially after that, the home invasion angle. All Candice LeRae needed was a gun for the Brian Pillman recap. Oh, yeah, that was fairly controversial. Controversy is good. It would sell tickets. It made me make me a little bit more interested. Um, Why well, she was just standing outside with her baby in her arms while her husband got beat up instead of like calling the police? I don't know. Throwing a brick at Grayson Waller. Tell you what, if 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 my woman was just standing by watching me getting like pummeled in front of my house. She knows where my guns and knives are. I would hope she would use them. Somehow. Bad wife. Very bad wife. She has to be barefoot now. Instead of wearing flip-flops. And have another baby. And cooking a steak dinner. While mixing martinis. For her husband. That's so 1950s sexist. I'm terrible. But yeah, um, Zoe Stark. Um, actually, Johnny Gargano is going to win that match. Whatever. And my stone cold lock of the night. You have Fallon Henley and Kiana James, the true odd women, taking on Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. Or Isla Dawn. Alba Fire, Kylie Rai. And Isla Dawn, they're going to win. The Scots will rule supreme. Again, that's my Stone Cold Lock for the Women's Tag Team Championship. So heard it here first, folks. And then we have Braun Breaker versus Carmelo Hayes. I'm torn on this. Carmelo Hayes is such a deserving champion. Braun Breaker... He could lose. He could. 
it wouldn't hurt him to lose the belt to Carmelo Hayes and then rebuild himself for SummerSlam. I don't see anyone else facing Braun Breaker for the belt prior to SummerSlam because that's the next big pay-per-view. So I'll say Carmelo Hayes and then they have the rematch for SummerSlam. So, yep, so that's NXT Stand and Deliver. Let's take one of a couple breaks. And I'm back. Now, this is weird because, again, going to the gray web, there's a bunch of sites about WrestleMania, day one and day two. So, I have day one predictions. Um, very simply, with some news and notes, I will not be able, able to cover day one, mainly because I'm working until 11.45. I'll get home probably about 10 minutes out of you midnight. So I will have no clue what, if, what, what happened, and I have to work all day Sunday. So let's... So again, these are kind of my guesses. I know they have it posted online. I haven't. I, I've been working all day. I had pizza. I tried to do stuff. I went out for my fifth job, collecting my aluminum, and I said, ah, "I'm done." Let's see here. Um, starting off, and I have no idea what order this is going to be in. I just took a look at some of the stuff and said, "You know what? This sounds like it should be this day." Brock Lesnar versus Omos. Brock Lesnar's winning. Please. You know what? That's gonna be. That's gonna be my stone cold lock of the night. So Brock Lesnar winning, definitely a stone cold lock. Bet the farm on it. Um, then there's a tag team show off. Um, tag team, whatever they call it, uh, Braun Strowman and Ricochet versus the Street Profits versus Alpha Academy versus Viking Raiders. They've been making the Viking Raiders look pretty badass. Again, I remember when they were War Machine. War. 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 So I'll say the Viking Raiders win. Yeah. Um... Here's a match you could sleep through. That's because this is the Women's Tag Team Showcase. Um, you have Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez versus Natalia and Shotzi versus Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey versus some team to be determined. You know what? The only team that should actually get this is Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey. If Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey do not win this, I don't know what weird concoction Stephanie is feeding Paul because that just seems like the natural choice. And then you could have Shayna and Ronda take the belts off of Damage control for SummerSlam. So that actually makes sense. Um, it, it, it should be a no brainer of who's going to win that. So, yeah, you can take a nap during that match. Um, the next women's match you have Trish Stratus, Lita, and Becky Lynch versus all of damage control. I forget if it's for the belts or not. But you know what? I have damage control winning. The Trish Stratus Lita thing, this is a nice, fun little nostalgic thing. And nostalgia is one heck of a drug, folks. But yeah, damage control is winning. And then my match of the night. You have Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul, I think. That's going to be good. Logan Paul's am amazingly good. He knows his stuff. Um, I have Seth, Seth Rollins winning. Logan Paul's talked too much smack. 
And you know what happens when you talk smack? You smack talkers. Yep. So yeah, Seth Rollins is going to win that. And then probably in the main event, you'll have Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley for the women's, for the one woman's belt. This was almost my stone cold lock until I saw Brock Lesnar. Although Shana, there's a couple of matches that could be like pure locks. Rhea Ripley should win this though. So I'm going with Rhea Ripley. Let's take another break, break, break. Well, let's go to day two. I have day two being a little bit shorter. Um, less of the multi-man matches, more of the good matches. Start off, Rey Mysterio versus Dominic Mysterio. Oh, that's going to be vicious and good. And this harkens back to old school WWE. Rey Mysterio is going to win that. That should be pretty fun. Um, Edge versus Finn Balor. Ben Balor, the demon, in a hell in a cell match. That's going to be a good match. Which match am I sleeping through? Okay. Oh, jeez. There is no match to take a nap through. This is going to be a fun-filled event. Well, I'll say only because it's a Hell in a Cell at Hel WrestleMania. If you want to, you could probably miss this match. Because they'll probably have some entertainment to set this thing up. I think Edge is going to defeat Finn Balor, though. Finn Balor is going to drop it to Edge, and Edge will feel vindicated. Then, I'll tell you what, I shouldn't say this. But in my match... De La Noche, you have the Usos, Jimmy and Jay Usos, taking on Ole, 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 El Generico, and Kevin Steen. I, I correct myself. I mean Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Although it would be cool if you saw Sami Zayn come out with an El Generico mask. And Kevin, and Kevin Owens come out in a kill steam kill shirt. That would be pretty cool. Um, I have El Generico and Kevin Steen winning. I mean Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens winning. This is going to be the decline. The kind of... The, the piece before the straw that breaks the camel's back for the bloodline. And then you're going to have the Intercontinental Maybe you can take a nap through this. Yeah, you know what? You can take a nap through this one. If you wanted to skip this, you probably could. So yeah, you can take a little cat nap. You have Gunter, the Ring General, the Field Marshal of the Squared Circle, taking on Seamus versus... Drew McIntyre. Gunther's going to win the belt. Sheamus and Drew McIntyre are going to be too concerned about beating each other up. Gunther wins. That's going to be a hard-hitting match. But I think Gunther's kind of the obvious choice. And then you have Bianca Belair versus Asuka for the Raw? or Yeah, the other women's championship. Asuka, I think, is going to take that belt off Bianca Belair. Asuka likes to have that belt. Asuka, like, we're, get, we're getting hints of crazy Nazi Asuka, which is good. The blue mist. Ooh, spooky blue mist. So, yeah, Asuka's going to win that match. And then, in my stone cold lock of the night, you have the one person who I acknowledge as my tribal chief. For I am not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Roman Reigns taking on an American 
Dream, Nightmare, the grandson of a plumber baby, he going get funky like a monkey in the heat after drinking some brass monkey. Cody Rhodes, I have Cody Rhodes winning this. He's gonna grab. He's gonna take the belt. They might split the belts up. Or they just might unify the belts and just give them the big gold belt. That would be cool. And that's WrestleMania Day 2. That I probably will be able to watch at least from 7 o'clock until midnight-ish. So yeah, those are my predictions for WrestleMania weekend. That's Saturday and Sunday. Stand to deliver WrestleMania Day 1 and WrestleMania Day 2. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Again, I do apologize for that garbage of a show. Impact does not help me. So thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. I need to get to bed. Bye. Too late of a day.